This is all of our investments. If you guys haven't already, please take a moment and subscribe to the channel. Uh, first stock on the list today is an ISIG. Uh, if you guys remember from yesterday, it, it sort of uh, you know had a nice little gap and go here, then didn't do much. Well, today it had you know just a picture perfect you know pre market chart here, just kept on breaking out, it, you know, and then you know when the when the open came, just sort of faked everybody out. It you know just you know popped up here. Wait, is that? Uh, let me make sure I'm not looking at that right. Maybe. Uh, Okay, I guess that is the first minute. Yeah, so just kind of, you know, affect us all out at the first minute, you know, and just uh, never really recover. I mean, tried to, you know, get back up there once, and then that was, that was pretty much it. So, all right. FT, FT. They uh, announced a new blockchain division. Okay, so it broke the, um, yeah, it had a nice little move here in the, in the uh, after hours, however, it only broke its pre-market high by a penny. So, I mean, well, it didn't like, uh, didn't completely thank everybody out, you know, it didn't break by a penny and then, you know, drop out from under everybody, but it, it did, uh, yeah, that, that's all it did, so. I mean, lower price. I mean, this looks pretty sloppy to me. Some people might see this as a double top. Yeah, you know, but uh, I mean, this hasn't. Uh, you know, normally this. You know, it would it would come down to. Uh, down down here first. You know, for a for a true double top. But, um, some people might see it that way. I I, I think it's too sloppy myself. But uh, yeah, so I guess you know something to keep an eye on of it. If it gets that high, oh, like, you know, again tomorrow or something. R E L I. Yeah, this one just looks uh, just sloppy as anything. I don't even uh, I don't want to go into it. <laughs> I just don't, I don't like the looks of that chart. K P R X. Yeah, this one. Uh, I mean, most day traders probably didn't even notice it because it didn't really do anything. You know, they would have already you know left for the day by the time it did anything. And it was just uh, just so gradual. You, you, you know, if you, uh, you know, there's not, not you know wouldn't have uh, it didn't really pop up or anything. I mean, it had a not until after hours here. You know, that's still just like a like a ten percent move, like you know all like you know within just like a few minutes or something. But uh, you know, great if somebody. You know, just got in early and held. F A T H. It didn't uh, didn't really do anything until uh, sort of sort of low volume. This thing didn't really do anything until after hours. You know, then it went to, went from 650 to uh, 965, and then move after hours there. They just uh, merged with a SPAC company. Well, looks like about a week ago or something like that. So, you know, so they did a, uh, they did just up and make a move and get back up. It, I guess it wanted to be back up for the where the 200 is. I'm not not seeing any news on it though. So, Not seeing any news on IINN either, but uh, it started to started to move here you know, towards the afternoon. BVXV, I believe they announced that they closed an offering. It was something with an offering. I'd have to go back and read the headline. But it, you know, it popped up from like 240 to 3 322 pre-market, and then it just it just sold off. You know, pretty much come all the way back down by the, by the open. So, yeah, so not too much excitement today. Um, uh, once again, this is all about investments. Please, uh, everybody, take a moment to just, uh, subscribe to the channel, and I'll I'll see you guys back at it tomorrow. Uh, thank you, everybody.